Bentley a little too quickly, so I think we're a bit ahead of schedule. And yes, we are uh, nine minutes early. Um, I am not sure if I can pause the live. <laughs> Uh, no, I can't. So anyway, two people are here with us already. I was literally just sorting out the the phone in the little arm that's holding it, and somehow the go live button was pressed nine minutes early. I do apologise, guys. So I am going to just wait and chit chat a little bit <laughs> with the one. Yes, hi there. Am I late, <laughs> Missy? Hi, Missy. Hi, Cat. Hi, Devil Bean. Hi, lovely. Yes, as I was just saying, I was just putting my phone in the arm and one of the buttons got pushed on the side of my phone, which meant it went live. So we are live early. Hi there, Lamb Bean. Hi, darling. How are you doing? So we've got a bit of a time to kill a little bit because everybody's expecting this to start at two. And, uh, oh, hey, Green Rumor. Cat, hi there. How's Mexico, says uh, Devil Bean. Mexico is fantastic. Um, it's interesting visiting here uh, just as the summer starts and then really interesting visiting here when the summer finishes because I was over this, I had this kind of grand illusion that, you know, it's always hot down here and not very seasonal. Um, but yes, it is, of course. It gets, it's been getting quite cold at night. But in the daytime, it's a fabulous 26, 25 degrees, which for Frosty is just absolutely the perfect temperature. I can survive no problem to the late 20s, but when we start getting into the 30s and if I have to work or something like that. Hi, Linda. I just saw your little message there. Hi there. How are you doing? I pressed the button a bit early. I am sorry. I'm definitely... Uh, me starting winter, Eugene. Hi there, Eugene. Nice. We are flying back. We leave uh, Casa del Papa uh, tomorrow and we fly out of Phoenix uh, to Calgary and then to our hometown, Lona. Hi there, Miss Eastside. The weather change has messed with my paints here in New York. Went and got a big bottle of uh, the GAC 800. I've heard good things from that. Hi, Eureka Bean. Hi, Christine. Oh, hi, everybody. Sorry that I pressed the button early. <laughs> Thank you. Hi there, Rainbow Bean. How are you doing, darling? Driven, you would have driven here, Rainbow Bean. <laughs> yes, we just got to, because uh, uh, the border is about uh, three hours from Phoenix, or uh, Casa del Papa is about three hours from Phoenix. Hi there, darling. I was just putting here, Banner is we're here with us, obviously. Uh, and I was just putting the phone in the hat arm. Yeah, and it pressed, it pressed click, and we are live 10 minutes early. So, hi there, Christine. How are you doing, darling? Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Early start. Early starts, yes. So you get to waffle extra. I get to waffle extra, and you get to listen to me waffling about mm, next to nothing. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Yes, fabulous Mexico is absolutely awesome. Uh, Papa is actually just getting some eye surgery today where they... Um, put in lenses, new lenses in your eyes. So uh, we're waiting to hear from a call from him or he's very stubborn and says, I'm gonna walk home. Um, but yes, but I might have to leave to go and get him if we get a phone call. All uh, right, so hi, yes, hi everybody. I've not missed anyone. Anyone that I've missed saying hello to, I'm sorry while well, I've been chitty chatting and waffling away. Wow, 19 people are here, that's fantastic. So. Um, yes, let's just do some introductions. First, obviously, the wonderful Vanna, Vanna White, yours truly, uh, so Frost. Um, then we also have in the live chat some of our moderators. Some may be there, some may not. I know a lot's going on for a lot of them at the moment, uh, so um, it's no problem if they're, if they're not able to join us. But I'd love to give a big shout out to uh, Brit, of course, lovely Brit from Brit Clayton Designs, Sheldon from Show Rock Art. I'd love to give a shout out to Lance as well, but of course, then our real, ho our real fantastic people uh, that run the, uh, that run the show with us and actually uh, and the group our online group on facebook uh, the acrylic crazy train uh, it's our beloved christy christy might not be able to make it now but let's send christy some love um darren my brother from another mother might be there but 
I really, yeah, I'd like it if he had to sleep in and didn't get up so early for, to join the show, but he's a sweetheart and he usually always does. Um, have I missed any? Yes, of course. Of course, the lovely and wonderful babe, Bridget. Oops, I shouldn't shut my eyes and lean backwards. I'm on a bit of a tippy slope here. Uh, but a shout out to all these lovely people uh, that are in the live chat there and make it so enjoyable and so interactive. When we get the chance or when I get the chance to watch the show back, uh, I watch all of the live chat and it's just crazy. You guys are so interactive and so supportive. And um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Um, da, 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 quick little explanation about the live chat and the super stickers. If you're not sure about those, there's a little dollar sign in the bottom right hand corner of where you type your message in for the super chat. And it's a way of getting your messages highlighted, questions uh, highlighted and uh, answered more quickly. But it's also a way to uh, support us and doing the channel and getting bits and pieces, uh, the materials and everything like that. So that's the super chat and super stickers. Also, I'd love you to please my guys there's a call to action please if you're liking what you see here please tell your friends but please if you haven't subscribed please subscribe for way more content just like this uh, and then if you also the little bell make the little bell solid that's the notification bell so whenever i release a new video you will get notified so please my friends call to action please subscribe if you haven't already okay so what we are doing this week i've brought my uh, little travel size uh, um, flow troll to go uh, and some of our budget friendly paints oh we're really a little bit early still but it's all good ah oh, hi there hi there tony how are you doing i just saw you i just saw your message go up there i need another little drinky but yes welcome back to beautiful sunny panasco the, cool, the pool looks beautiful, but believe me, it's a bit damn cold and I'm certainly not going to jump in it. Van has been doing some sunbathing this morning and cooling herself in it. But yes, as you can see, the skies are blue. It's just a really beautiful day. And we've got full sunlight, the perfect sunlight on our mat and we can show you what we're going to do. So let me get the camera pointing down. Oh, hang on, I've just got to plug the camera in because we don't want it to run out. Right. How does that look, Vanna? I'll tell you in a minute. I have a bit of a delay. Oh, excellent. Okay, no worries. Well, maybe we should... Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just lay these out in a nice fashion and we will talk about what we're going to do. And you guys can look at the paints that we're going to use. We've got a real beautiful kind of uh, uh, rainbow kind of colour going on here because we've got the beautiful purple... Uh, which is the uh, eggplant. We've got the beautiful cobalt blue. We have the tropical green. Christine e. Oh, Christine E, thank you so much. Van just said that you have, you sent a sticker. That's ever so kind of you. Thank you so much, Christine. So then we've got the holiday red and then the pumpkin orange and then the vivid yellow. And we've got some white, very apt here, Blanco. <laughs> And we have some black, so it's going to be a split base. We're going to have black on one side and have white on the other side. And then we're going to put our little uh, open cups in, which are two little two ounce uh, cups with the tops cut off. We are going to place these two in that, like that, and we're going to start to pour all of our paints in here for this double open cup. And hopefully it's going to come out nicely and good. How does the picture look, Vanna? Is it nice and straight? No, me and wanting to get things not perfect, but I just really, it bugs me when things aren't quite straight or in a nice frame. So, anyway, waffle, 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 waffle. So I've mixed up already um, four ounces of the black and four ounces of the white. Now, I don't think we're going to need that all to cover this, along with the six ounces of these colors that we're gonna put on there. Um, but I mixed up some more just in case we need a little bit to paint, uh, to dribble on the edges because, we, as we all know, paint moves nicely over a wet canvas or a wet edge than it does over a dry edge. So, well, let's take the... Well, first of all, what we need to do is mix up some of these colours. So, guys, if you're, if you're mixing and you're going to paint at home with me, this is fantastic because we're going to get our six cups. Da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da. 
Can we get another one in there? Maybe if I move them all along a bit. Bingo. So we're going to mix up. We're going to mix it 50-50. So I am going to just under the first little line for an ounce in each one. And then we're going to put an ounce of colour in them afterwards. So that's going to make up, as I said, there's uh, four ounces of white base there, four ounces of black. And then when we mix up another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've got twelve ounces of paint, which is going to be more than enough to cover this uh, this nice little uh, wooden cradle we've got here. And yes, I primed it at home before we left. So okay, let's put in to the second line. Here we go, my friends, just so you can see. Is everything okay, Venom? Is the shot good still? Excellent, excellent. And I hope everyone's having a great time. I know our main, uh, main viewing base is uh, in North America, but also please, huge hello to anybody in Australia or Europe, Asia, anywhere like that that's watching my videos. Thank you so much for the support and the love. It means the world to me. And um, if, you, if I didn't have that, I wouldn't be going on and carry on doing this. So there you go, guys. There's the consistency in a beautiful, full sunny shot. So I hope it's sunny and nice where you guys are at the moment. Um, we've been getting photographs from our friends back, on, back, in, uh, back in Canada, where we live on the ski hill. And literally, it snowed so much there, it buried Vanna's car completely. It snowed a meter. It snowed a meter. And like, how many days did it do that? One or two? A day and a half. A day and a half, it snowed a meter of snow. And, uh, our, uh, our tenants and our friends that uh, we rent rooms to were uh, digging it all out and sending us, sending us pictures of how much snow they actually had. Okay guys, so that's a little bit thick. I'm going to put just a little bit more of the flow tower in there because it wasn't quite drizzling. And here you go, you see, that's because obviously the blue cobalt has more pigments in it and is a little bit thicker. Right, so it would be absolutely brilliant if we had or could have a mariachi band going in the background or having a margarita right now while we're doing it. I know lots of people said, wow, why aren't you drinking the margaritas? Um, I'm not drinking today <laughs> because I uh, drank yesterday. We went on a uh, on a pub crawl all throughout the really you know the cool little bars that are down on the down in the ocean and everything like that. And it was lots of fun indeed. We're an hour early. We just changed the clock yesterday. Oh, you're joking. Well, they're talking about time change, and they don't do that here in Mexico. But I think it's only one o'clock. Um, well, this is really strange, because I set the thing to go at two, okay. but I did press it early, so are we a full hour early? I don't know, ask the people. P please, people, what's up, right, okay, anybody living on the East Coast or somewhere central, can you please tell us what the time is? Am I actually an hour early because of the time change difference thing? <laughs> is it really? I don't know. Oh. Does, is it, it says the time in Kelowna is 13.02. So that's 1.02. Yeah, we're an hour early. Uh, oh, well. Thank you so well, much. Adam said no, you went six minutes early. Adam says no. Ah, oh, Darren, hey there, my brother. So we weren't early. No, what? Ten minutes early. Or a few minutes early. Not a whole hour, surely. Because this time here, um, we're on the same time zone. Oh, but they have... Yeah, my phone says in Kelowna it's 1,300 hours. Oh, so anyone that's in Central and anyone that's on the East Coast, if they also do that yeah. stupid time change thing, mm -hmm. we're all on, we, I'm an hour early. I did not bank on this at all whatsoever. <laughs> this was not fathoming quite factory into my, into my thinking for this. Oh, well, that's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Here you go, guys. Mm, that one's a little bit thick, too. I'm just going to put a little bit more of the flow tool in that one. Just so we get it to pour nicely. Now, 
<laughs> I'm not sure if the, like last time when we were here, the picture I, had when we did live, the picture I painted <laughs> dried literally within, <laughs> within 24 hours. So I was able to take it home. Um, but this one, I'm not too sure. We'll see, you know, if it's still wet tomorrow, when we leave, obviously Papa's gonna have a piece of art that he doesn't really want now. <laughs> He'll hang it in the bathroom maybe. <laughs> but if it does dry, uh, we shall take it home and uh, we shall give this away next week as a last week's canvas. Because we haven't done that for a little while because we've been all quite crazy busy doing things. Blah, blah, blah. But anyway, is there a question there? No. Oh, okay. I'm still trying to figure out what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, so here's the first chances, guys, and I'm going to split the pillow this way, okay? There we go. Yes, the last time we were here, uh, in the evenings, it was fantastic because Vanna's papa lives right in Centro. So we're right in the, uh, in the actual, resi well, one of the residential areas, but there's no clear divide between re residential and the uh, 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 and um, commercial. Uh, so it was great, one of the last times we were here, we were just hearing all of this life around us, which was just pretty special. And lots and lots of fun of people just really, whoa, now, this is the other thing, guys. It is a little bit windy. <laughs> and I am hoping... I am hoping that we don't lose anything and it gets blown away or anything like that. So, and the other silly thing I did was I did not... Um, I did not bring any of my little tools or anything like that in the haste to pack and all of that. I neglected to keep some of my little tools that I usually bring. Some of those little, little dollar store ones, the little plastic ones that work great. So now I'm just going to get my fingers in the paint because it's lovely to get messy, isn't it? It's fun. Okay, excellent. So there's our two bases. And now the two cups. Bingo, bingo. Oh, bingo, bingo. Uh, what I'm going to do now, guys, is just pour a little bit of the paint in the cup first, and a little more paint around the cup. Perfect. I'm going to do the same on this one, a little bit of paint in the cup, a little more paint around the cup, and then if we need it, we've got a little bit more paint still left, just to get those edges wet. Or oh, have some more fun. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in the same order for each one and we're going to go around twice, okay? So we need to put about half of this in. Bingo. And then the other half in this one. Bingo. And then we can see, get a really good, clear idea of how the two colours... Oh, we've got some movement now. How the two, how the two sets of colours are going to look in the pour on the white and then on the black. Fantastic, this is looking pretty great already. I can see some awesome little cells coming out, but the wind is blowing, <laughs> it's making them travel. That's awesome. Okay, now we've just got the yellow. There we go. Excellent. Oh, that's working quite nicely. Just give it a nice little tap there. Now, something I found, if you can give the... Give the paint a little bit of a blow, the white. You can get some great little patterns and some colors coming up underneath. But this is really cool, so I'm gonna pick up this one now and then just drag it across. Excellent. And now this one I'm gonna drag that way. Excellent, right now we've got a lot of paint on here. 
I can see here is quite a lot. So we're going to have no trouble covering this little canvas here. Now, don't even have a toothpick or anything to do any little modifications again, because... No, it's okay, Vanna. I'm thinking about maybe like just doing a little drag through this. It looks almost looks like a footprint, which I think is quite cool. Or we could just leave it alone, just get the paint to cover the canvas. So I think actually that's what we're gonna do. And now let's just remember to wet those edges, guys, because paint finds it difficult to flow over a wet edge. <laughs> and much preferred to flow over the wet I, oh, yeah, I'm waffling now, I'm going to be quiet. I've got to concentrate on what I'm trying to do. <laughs> anyway. A little bit of brain fog from all the margaritas. A little bit of, yes, thank you, Vanna. Thank you, darling. A bit of brain fog from all the margaritas. I did get quite, quite drunkity, drunkity, drunk yesterday, and I really enjoyed ourselves. Uh, and... Uh, I, that's not been the first time on this trip. I thought I didn't like tequila after a very bad experience when I was uh, 15 years old. But now I've discovered I love the, love the tequila. Okay then guys, so we're just going to, uh, we're gonna tilt this and move it around. I'm really liking what's happening on the black side a little more than the white. So what I do is go over these two corners first. So then we really stretch it and we get more of what we want and less of what we don't want. So there we go, let's just boom, back. Ooh. That's pretty. <laughs> Literally, the, the, the wind went whoosh just as I started to tilt. So I hope I have not got any paint on Papa's. Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> I like this quite a lot. That was great. There we go. Oh, Vanna's like, oh, that's pretty. Thank you, darling. So I'm just going to wipe these edges and get a little bit more paint on these edges because some of them didn't quite get it. There we go. There's the white. And let's just get a little bit on this side. Excellent. And there we go, guys. We've got nice coverage all over the actual piece. And yes, we did waste a little bit of paint. <laughs> There's probably a good two or three ounces there, maybe maybe more. But uh, that's what happens when we indulge ourselves in this art. It's all about pouring, tilting, and spinning the pieces to get these beautiful effects. And, uh, you know, this art medium is inherently notorious for wasting a little bit of paint but if we actually want to look here what we're wasting is we're only wasting the ounce of uh, the paint in there we're wasting equal parts of the flow troll which doesn't quite cost the same which is why we mix our paints down so here you go my friends what do you think am i holding up okay Vanna? yes yes and like i said i really did enjoy this side a little bit more but we've still got room to play and just maybe make it a little more even or... I'm actually quite loving the composition as it is right now. So I think we should leave it like this. So there we go, my friends. A double open cup with a split base of the white and the black. Now what's going to be really good is when this dries and cures, uh, you're going to see the vibrancy of the paints. Because some of these paints are semi-opaque and semi-transparent, the ones that are used on a black base are more than likely just going to lose a little bit of their color because they are, as I said, transparent or translucent, and you can see through them. The colors on the white backgrounds are going to kind of stay like this, really quite vivid and beautiful. We've got some great little cells just popping up in there. And I'm really happy with this piece quite a lot, actually. So I hope it's going to dry by <laughs> tomorrow morning when we leave. Otherwise, I'm not sure. Papa will just, Papi will just keep it for us. We can pick it up in six months when we come back. There we go, yes, we can pick it up in six months when we come back. Because uh, we have, we've taken it upon ourselves to, you know, make sure our Papa living in Mexico is good and okay with, uh, with at least trips every six months at the least. But here we go. So that's that nice little piece. Well, yes, you see, with everything that I thought about, I did not think about somewhere to stick it to dry. So what I'm going to do is just put this right there. 
It's okay, because it can join right there, no problem. So, what time have we got, my friends? 2.16. 2.16. Oh, so it is 2 o'clock. Have we sorted this out? Is it 2 o'clock in... Oh, but British Columbia or, uh, have moved it. Okay, well, that's good because I wonder if they do the time change in America on the East Coast because they came on at four rather than five o'clock. I think all of North America changes their times at the same, on the same day. Mm. Yeah, so it's not going to be. Right, okay. So uh, I have got another canvas over there. So what we could do and experiment with is just squishing the canvas on this and see how it comes out. Because again, started early, not a lot of chitty chat, chitty chat, chat, and um, we're finished. Well, not finished, but you know, we're at a point where we could finish or go on. I love this stripe of colour that we've got going on here, and how good it looks there. So, two things we could do, my friends, is I could mix up some more colours, and we could uh, just pour on this in a different, in a different style, and which I think is what we should do, isn't it? <laughs> a rainbow hot dog, hey Heather. Well, we could try that, couldn't we? I suppose, you know? Uh, let me, um, I'm gonna use this paint. I'm gonna mix up a little bit more of the colors because we've got all the time in the world now that I started really early. Excellent, oh dear me. Oh. Yeah. Hot sitting standing here, and um, I was getting sweat in the eye. There we go, right? And we've still got the uh, black and white to do a split. Da, 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 da. Just talk amongst yourselves while you're just waiting for me. But I really appreciate that you're waiting for me. <laughs> so. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna mix these up. So Heather, you called a rainbow hot dog. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put the place down and then we're gonna pour these colors all together in the middle and I'm gonna blow them out left and right. So it's gonna be a bit more like a, a Dutch bloom, right? But um, we'll see how it goes. I will just maybe, oop, maybe just thin these paints out just a little bit so we get more movement out of them, but uh, they seem pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna get the, um, I'll just put the canvas straight in all this paint here and that can be uh, part of our base with what we have left of the white and the black that we mixed up for the previous piece. So there we go. Da, 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 da. The eggplant is such a glorious colour, isn't it? I love it to bits. And as we all know, these little budget-friendly dollar store paints are really good value indeed. You can do many techniques with them and they come out beautifully and they're really great little paints. So there we go. And let's get some of this paint on here. Da, da, da. Boom. Huh. There we go, that looks quite cool. <laughs> but we're gonna do it again this way. Excellent, cool. So that's nice and a little bit wet because we want the canvas to be wet. Okie dokie. So I'm just going to wipe this up. So we've got not such a mess to put the canvas down on. And here we go. So for the um, the <laughs> rainbow hot dog for Heather. Okay, so we're going to put some white down here. Are you okay, Vanna? What's okay. going on in the chat? Is is it all good? Yeah. Fantastic. That's what we like to hear. Now let's just put down the black on this side. There we go. Anyway, my hands haven't been this filthy in a long time. 
and this is great. So let's put it down in a different order this time, okay, guys? So we're going to do with the yellow. Whoops. And we're going to go with the red. Then the purple. And then the green. And all these little bits to the side will probably fill up with some of these colours because we're going to blow over them and blow this piece out. And it will need a, it will need some some uh, tilting. Wow, excellent! There we go. It's going to make something pretty cool. I think. I hope. Right now, I need a fantastic and a big hello to everybody that's just joining us. I'm so sorry. The daylight savings has caught me like a like a blooming thing, and we're an hour early, guys. So I do apologise, but thank you so much for watching it. Man. Anyway, here we go for the, the the rainbow hot dog. Now we're just going to do this. There you go, Heather, your rainbow hot dog. And I blew paint all the way over there, <laughs> so we're gonna have to do some good cleaning up. Uh, and I'm so glad that Papa's gonna come home with goggles on so <laughs> we can clean up the mess before he can see it. Bless him. That's not being mean, is it, Anna? <laughs> but yeah, he's uh, going to have a LASIK eye surgery, isn't that it, Anna? Yes, he's having his cataracts repaired and oh. his vision repaired same time. Cataracts and vision at the same time with a new lens put in his eye, which is... His lenses with special ones that are bifocal and distance. That's vision. crazily yeah. amazing. Okay. Terminator eyes. Terminator eyes. Okay then guys, come on, we've got to tip this one, okay? So let's go to the sides that need it the most. Boom. And then we're going to come back like this. And I'm just going to allow that black to make it to the edge, but then I'm going to get it to come all the way back in because I really like it. And now we're just going to, here you go guys, tip to this edge. And then we're going to come back. And we're going to tip over to this edge here by my thumb. I hope, is it in shot then? Mm, yes. Perfect, excellent. Oh, I've got little flies buzzing around here. <laughs> if they land in the paint, that's going to be their, their, their kippers. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it around, guys, so you can see it a little bit more. So I'm really loving here. So I'm going to tilt a lot more of this off on this side. Just so we have more of that black and more of those nice little cells that are popping up through it. Because that's the great thing when we can spin and tilt and everything, because you can decide if you really like one area, you just tilt that off, uh, you don't tilt that off. Uh, or you tilt the other areas off that you like less. There we go. Sorry, it took me a second to get that. But yeah, now we have got to just let it get back into the middle. But there we go. Here you go, rainbow, uh, rainbow bean. <laughs> a rainbow a rainbow hot dog. But uh, it's fire and water. It's fire and water, yeah. Yes, I'd say. Oh, Kayleen, hi, darling. Oh, damn. There you go. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. Didn't say hello to Kayleen at the beginning. Bugger. Diane, I'm sorry, please forgive me for not saying hello to you in the beginning. I am very sorry. That's not, uh, not my intention. I hope you're not up to. So here we go, guys. Just got to wipe off these edges because if we don't, they just carry on running the whole way. But there we go. Excellent. I think that's quite pretty. Do you, Vanna? I'm just really loving these lovely cells that popped up here through the black. Really great. And we've got nice coveraging, coverage on the edge. And then here you go, look guys. We see not nearly as much was wasted on this one that we did on that one. So, you know, you don't need to quite pour all of the paint through in one go. <laughs> but um, 
Yes. Didn't waste too much at all whatsoever. So how many people have we got in the live chat there, Vanna? Oh, brilliant, which isn't too bad. Consider. Consi <laughs> You're on top chat, not all chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm gonna, this is the way I like this one, so I'm gonna put this one down oh, that way so you can look at it for a minute. I am just gonna quickly wash my hands up. And there we go. Yes, I wish I'd have uh, been a little bit prepared and I would have brought two two rags to wipe up, wipe up with and clean up with. But uh, to be honest, friends, we've just been really relaxing and really enjoying this, uh, this lovely privilege of a holiday we are very lucky and fortunate to have because uh, Vanna's father lives down here. Uh, and the flights from, uh, from Canada to Phoenix really aren't, aren't quite affordable, let's say. And uh, he's down here all on his own. So, it's nice to come and visit him, make sure he's okay, and all that kind of thing. I mean, those that have been with us for a long time, this time six months ago in May, was um, when everything changed and we were no longer part of the group, a group porn for beginners. That wasn't really our choice, but we have moved, grown on, learned, uh, moved and grown, <laughs> or grown and moved on, and. Uh, some of those lessons and now we're surrounded by people that we really know and we really love and we really trust which unfortunately wasn't the case in the other group and uh, we love running a safe space and if it's not a safe space for the admins and the moderators of that group then it's not a safe space at all what's the time check vanna Really? Only 2.28? Well, yeah, we've been half an hour because I started a little bit early, didn't I? Because I'm a bit of a forgetful person. No, it's not my fault. <laughs> I pushed the button 10 minutes early. Hi, friends. Hang on, I've just got to get my oh, glasses so I can see properly because the sun is right there. It's absolutely beautiful. And you'll be very glad to know I haven't burnt myself this time. I really limited my time in the sun and uh, thankfully it's quite low in the sky. So the UV index down here wasn't nearly as strong as it was six months ago. I did get a nice suntan. I did get a nice suntan. You did get a nice suntan. Thank you, darling. You see, there's the silver lining in it all. So, we've done our two pictures already, and I don't know, have we figured out what time it is? Or oh, am I, are we an hour early? Or? No, you were definitely an hour early, but no one seems to mind. Okay, well that's fantastic. Well, <laughs> that means there's gonna be a bit of an hour, there's gonna be an hour and a half before um, our next train station, because uh, we were coming live from Mexico, and then we're supposed to be, uh, or we are, going all the way around the world, the crazy train goes to Australia for venom fluid art. I didn't mention this at the beginning. Wombat seems to think that you're right on time and he's 30 minutes. Okay, okay, brilliant. I think we got it right then. Thank you, brother. Uh, but yes, fail to mention again, Margarita Hayes, excuses, excuses. You know I love you and I'm sincere and just a bit forgetful. Anyway, yes, the crazy train is going to Venom Fluid R, my brother from another mother, all the way around to Australia at 3pm, uh, uh, that would be 3pm PST. And then after that, we come all the way back over to the States, to North America, where we have lovely, my one number one fan, my sweetheart, and that's Christy, uh, and Creations by Christy. Then after Creations by Christy, we have the lovely, the wonderful, talented Shan B from Shan B Fluid Arts. Hi, Shannon. How are you doing there, darling? And then the caboose this week is going to be Tony from the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. So that's where we're going today, guys. We have another four, I count four stops there, and I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't have the lovely Christy in my ear to say, uh, no, sorry, you've missed someone or something like that. And Vanna is just furiously trying to keep up uh, with the live chat and answer me on my behalf to you guys that are asking questions and saying hello, sending stickers and things like that, and just generally being the amazing, beautiful people that you are. So, I'm not sure if we should just kind of call it a little bit early or even earlier because I don't have any more canvas. Here we go, guys. Let's get the camera pointing down and you can see them again. 
is uh, that one. Oh, I can just move the, maybe move the camera over and you can get both of them. Is that both of them there? Excellent, excellent. And just leaving them like this has been good because they've just been uh, letting the, oh wow, the edges are almost dry because of the sun. <laughs> Oh, oh, why did I touch it? I shouldn't have touched it. Stop touching it, Simon, you idiot. Anyway, we've got a few more nice little cells. Here we go, let's go in a bit closer. There's a few more little cells just popping up there. And it's things like this, these lovely little uh, uh, little things that happen with the dollar store paints. They're budget friendlies. I really do dig. It's really, we've got some great separation between the blues and the greens and then the yellow and orange. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with these two little paws. They're pretty good indeed. Again, a nice thing to do with the, uh, it's a great thing to do with the, uh, with the family, with the grands or with the nephews and nieces, or if you need to entertain anybody uh, who loves being creative and trying new things, uh, definitely buy yourself a bottle of US Floetrol. I know up in Canada, the cheapest place to buy it is, or the more, most affordable place to buy it, excuse me, is from uh, Dulux Paints. And Dulux are part of PPD, which is the Pittsburgh Paint Group, who also own the Floetrol, the, flow uh, the Australian Floetrol. And uh, yeah, PPG are quite a big fish in this on the planet for paint and paint products. But anyway, is the chat going nicely? Yeah, this yeah, guys, if you've got any questions or anything like that about what I've just done today or any questions about anything else fluid art related <laughs> before we get inundated with lots of lots of different. Uh... Oh, there we go. If I stand back a little bit and my face isn't quite in the sun, I hope you can still see me. Yes, if you guys have got any questions, something like that fluid art related uh, that have been bugging you, have been burning you and you wanted to know, uh, we will try and endeavour to answer them right now in a live little Q&A. That's the thing we love about doing these lives, is that we can, yeah, do cute questions and answers on the fly, and you can get real-time answers. So are there any questions that you guys have got? Yeah, but I just said that they hope we enjoy our holiday and have a safe trip home. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh. Honestly, having you guys, are all, our, our, all of the people from, from the Acrylic Crazy Train, our group on Facebook, um, all of the members, all of the moderators, all of the admins, um, I feel privileged to, and I feel that this is something special we, we're all sharing, and I really feel privileged to be part of it and to be, <laughs> to be amongst such a lovely group of people that genuinely and sincerely wish us well and um yeah it's about town i had a real good family that um i can really rely on and uh, and and trust implicitly because as we all know trust is the foundation that we build all these relationships on but that's digressing and waffling to another level i think so if there are no burning questions vanna i think we're going to enjoy the last rays of the sun of our afternoon here at casa del papa in uh, puerto penasco if you guys wanted to know where we actually are it's puerto penasco and the n has a little um little squiggle over the top of it but we're right up in the northeast of uh, of mexico here nowhere near cancun or any of the really hot places but it still gets beautifully yeah, warm yes it's desert here not tropical you know we've got some great sand dunes that they and out those four wheel buggy things and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, again, waffling and digressing again. I'm going to call it here and Banner and I are gonna enjoy our last afternoon. I hope you guys have a fantastic afternoon and don't forget, Venom is at 3 p.m. So we've got a nice long little break to get a proper snack and do a couple of things before we jump on and get there. Uh, you might not see Vanna and I in the live chats of the premieres that follow, because again, it's the last afternoon we've got here. And as I mentioned, we have to go and I'm a bit worried about dad now. He's still not back. So something might need to be done. So I'm going to do my best. But if I'm away from the house and away from Wi-Fi, I, uh, my phone doesn't work unless I pay a colossal fee. So sincere apologies if you do not see me in those live chats after this weekend, uh, after this show. Uh, but you will definitely see us. Back to full force, the joy of pouring, next Sunday. Okay, then, my friends, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your love and support. And above all, Happy pouring. Mm.